to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Before I pray for the sick, is there someone with that name? Inside, outside, your name is Eugene. Let me just pray for you very quickly. I'm hearing the name Eugene. If you're following online, you can indicate you're following online. If you're in the overflow, you can indicate quickly. Otherwise, we'll just have to rush and then go. I want to pray for the sick now. We serve a mighty God. There's someone with such a name. What's his name? What's your name, sir? Eugene. I will pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing in the spirit. But I will pray either way. Because you have come. What do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord prosper the work he has given you. I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that God will open the eyes of your spirit and the eyes of your heart. That you will comprehend even with in greater dimensions the things of the spirit and the mercy of the lord speak for you and your work Amen. in jesus name i pray Amen. god bless you but if there's no the eugene i'm seeing i don't know if you are this is like a female this is not i'm not seeing a male i'm seeing a female but we are going to pray how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. I'm seeing the name of a church. Something, is it? There is Christ and there's missions in it. Something, Christ, missions. Something, is there someone like that? With the name, I know there is Christ, there is missions. You are here. I don't know the name, I didn't get the name accurately. But let me know the name because I want to pray for you. Huh? There is mission. What's Divine Grace Christ Best Mission International. That's your church. Christ Intimates. Christ Intimates. Ah, I will pray for you. It is your church? Yeah. Divine Grace, Christ Based Mission International. Very sincere man, but I want to pray for you. I just saw the name. You believe in impartation, sir? Sure. Impartation is a transference of graces. Sure. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. And I declare, may the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the grace, for signs, the grace for wonders. May that grace rest on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing four ministers of the gospel, four of you here. There is a very strong healing anointing that is coming on you right now as I speak. Four. I will pray for everyone, but I'm seeing four people. The power of God will come on you, four of you. You don't have to bring them out. Let's honor them. We don't have to drag them out. Four of them. Spirit of the living God, four of you. Like the dew of heaven, such a heavy unction coming on you right now. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. Rest upon your ministry. Help them, please. In the name of God, my God, please help them so they don't injure themselves. Help this lady. 
Salagata brende gedi ba hasida balakatusia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if this is the appropriate channel to say it, but with every sense of respect, Reverend Vindiolu, I just saw something like a plane. It just come and picked you and you just entered into the sky. I believe that you are stepping into a new phase, even in the ministry, the work in Enugu. This is what I just saw in a vision. And Father, we agree over this, your servant, this veteran of the gospel, as you have revealed, so let it be. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shekinah Assembly, step into a new dimension. A new dimension of exploits in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Let's pray for the sick now. Now, because of time, listen please, just hear the instruction. Three things we are going to do very quickly. Number one, I'm going to minister to the sick. And then number two, we'll pray on the requests. And then number three, as we did yesterday, um, I will request two or three fathers alongside the bishop. We are going to stand here and prophetically, we are going to speak over the church and the body of Christ in a boy state. Are we together? That everything that is locked up in the grave, that it must come out at the instance of God's voice. And then finally we will do the impartation and we are done. We are going to be very fast. Now please, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, just wave it and the ushers will see. Please ushers, if anyone is waving his request, quickly, quickly, inside, outside, just get it and bring it out here. Now lay your hands where you are trusting God for a healing miracle. We are going to celebrate miracles now. This is what will happen. Listen, we don't have all the time, but the moment I rebuke this sickness, I'm going to ask you to check yourself. You already saw miracles happening. For many of you, you will be amazed to see mighty miracles that will happen to you as soon as you check yourself and you find out that there is a miracle. Let's have one or two pastors here. I would request that you quickly run and come. We'll give a few of you room to testify to the glory of the Lord. Then we'll go into the prophetic session very quickly. Please lay your hands right now. You're trusting God for a miracle. Very quickly. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing, Jesus. I believe, Jesus. There is healing in your name, Jesus. We believe, Jesus. I want you to agree with me with a very loud amen inside and outside. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every devil behind any infirmity, every spirit that is back of any disease, in the name of Jesus, we cast you out right now. By the blood of the eternal covenant, we cast you out right now. And I declare in Jesus name be healed be healed migraine headaches be healed ulcers help them be healed fibroids I command you to disappear right now blind eyes partial blindness complete blindness I command those eyes be open now Yes, be open right now. Bone condition.
positions you're on a wheelchair you're on crutches after this prayer stand up right now after this prayer stand up right now in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing people with severe back problems severe back problems along your lumbar vertebra be healed right now in Jesus name every kind of bone condition be healed now in the name of Jesus genotype issues we change that genotype now help them please I'm seeing someone with a lump I don't know if it's a growth around your neck as I'm praying it will deflate and disappear right now in the name of Jesus HIV be healed now inside outside cancers be healed now the Lord is healing hepatitis B someone with hepatitis B the Lord is healing you right now hotness in your body whether it's cold or heat you just feel as if they are setting your body on fire in the name of Jesus be healed right now now there is someone the Lord is showing me frequent urination you can urinate in one hour so many times it's even an embarrassing thing but right now as I'm praying the power of God is touching you you don't have to just drag them out please make sure those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out again there are several ladies I'm seeing a lump for a particular one I'm seeing a lump in fact multiple lumps your left the left side of your breast after this prayer that devil leaves your body now oh yes it's happening there is a miracle happening now there's someone I don't know something happened to your shoulder I don't know if it's an accident or something and you were not able to move your shoulder very well after this prayer I want you to move it now I'm seeing someone outside you don't see very far you can't see light very far after this prayer a miracle is happening to you the Lord is showing me a woman your your menstrual cycle is irregular and prolonged it can come any day and it can last for no matter how long this has caused you a lot of problems weakness in the body in the name of Jesus as I'm praying the power of God is coming on you right now everyone here who is standing in for someone who is sick whether they are in the hospital may the angel of the Lord's presence go to every hospital in every nation and bring supernatural healing right now very severe case of migraine you wake up with it you sleep with it the power of God is touching you right now now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God be healed now be healed now be healed now from the crown of your head high blood pressure is being healed right now I'm seeing a thermometer moving up and down high blood pressure be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now in fact the Lord is showing me someone even before you came for this program going to use the toilet is a very painful experience because it's almost as if you are stooling blood this is an advanced case of pile pile in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you right now Amen. now very quickly we have just five minutes inside and outside I want you to check yourself do what you couldn't do as we celebrate Jesus the moment you find a miracle run quickly to the frontier right now there are miracles happening everywhere
those coming from outside if it's for a miracle allow them look at miracles happening celebrate miracles hey boy shake yourself and come shake yourselves and come those coming from outside allow them my god are you celebrating what jesus is doing here the moment you find yourself healed touch please make your way to the front make your way to the front and i'm speaking to a man of god here and a woman of god what you are seeing happening in this conference may you carry that same grace to your altar may you carry that same may you carry that same grace to your altar come this sunday fire upon your altar keep coming please someone just verify check them and then we'll have a few testimonies very quickly my god miracles are happening those of you online connect by faith very quickly we have five minutes sir she has had asthma for so many years asthma yes Today, for how long my dear more than 15 years more than 15 years what happened to you tonight the pain disappeared i fell completely yeah. run check if there's any pain run, 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 run. breathe in and out any pain come on a boy is safe celebrate jesus it will never return to you again i stretch my hands you are healed you are healed forever in jesus name yes please her eyes have been itching since 2014 itchy eyes for how long since 2014 2014 what happened tonight it's no longer there. completely it's no longer there. what's your name favor favor yes, may your name speak for you in the name of jesus those itchy eyes go now by the power of the holy ghost in jesus name go ahead yes please very Sir, quickly she has been having myopia from birth myopia okay evening. what's your name my dear Mercy Wilson. for how long she's crying oh dear from birth. From, birth. from birth what couldn't you see I <laughs> why don't you separate the people into two so that one can stand here one can stand here man of god you can stand here and then so that you can just alternate look the lady is crying see let me tell you this brothers and sisters listen to me when miracles happen it's more than just showing that a man is anointed it's a revelation of the love of jesus and it's a revelation of the power and the might of the almighty are we together my dear and right now what happened to you my opera from bed i was trying to see you i <laughs> you were trying to see me in the morning while you were leaving. give her the mic yes please the morning when you were going i had the direction that i should just go and look at your face i was begging the pastor to allow me to see your face what, yes what happened now and then when i was praying that i just looked from far for the first time in my life i could see somebody from far. my god <laughs> the mighty god i stretch my hands put your hands on your eyes right now i release the anointing of the holy ghost to your eyes perfection help this person in the name of jesus christ yes sir apostle this man's hand was broken april this month this year broken but while you pray god restored the hand completely yes check yourself any pain do what you couldn't do lift it up down up down hey boy are you celebrating jesus apostle also he came with all sir you came with ulcer also ah and the lord delivered him here. in the name of jesus i stretch my hands may that anointing come upon you you will never go back with this pain again yes sir this young girl had multiple well, a lump multiple lumps multiple lump breast lump on your neck oh for how long since and now check it no pain the lumps are gone jesus everything my father has not planted in your life in the name of jesus let it be uprooted now yes sir sir you mentioned somebody with a shoulder problem he shoulder had, problem yes for four years uh, what's your name sir ebenezer ebenezer how long four years which one which of the shoulders check yourself any pain 
it's gone completely in the name of jesus it never returns to you again by the power of the holy ghost my god there are so many miracles apostle this guy here had an accident a few years ago you had an accident could not Where? move the hand now but could move it after the prayer Where? shoulder please show you shoulder. Give him the mic Sure. For how long? Since 216, sir. 216. Yes, sir. You had an accident. Yes, sir. And right now. Yes, I Lift it up. Yes, down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Celebrate Jesus. It will never, never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you ready? Yes. Go ahead. Sir, in March, you did evacuation. In uh, March? Yes. And you did an evacuation. The okay. Have been there. Even they had to repeat the process last oh week. Oh my God! And she couldn't see. She couldn't stand. Please keep. Don't cry. What happened to you? Last week, I have a baby. Use the baby. mic. Last week. No, I don't collect it. Just, just. Okay. Last week, I was pregnant four months. Then, in the dream, I had a dream where I was menstruating. After my prayers in the morning, brought start coming out. I went for evacuation. After the, going the process of evacuation, uh, my waist I could not sit down. The uterus was after the evacuation. Uh, now, yes, the uterus was paining me. Then I went back to the hospital. They wrote some drugs, drugs for me. Yes. Then I came. I was taking it. Something like blood was coming out from my body. Then I went back to the hospital. They sent me for transplant, and they said they did not do the evacuation very well. That I'm not. I'm not I'm going inside the uh, theater for another evacuation but it's not the uh, process we take the daughter they're going to use machine to go be the glory they use the machine but i cannot sit down the uterus we are paining me what even, happened now if even as i was coming i could not say oh god i don't want to come back to, the, to my house with this pain and I, as i was there i was sitting there you were outside I, yes i was sitting there because i could not stand then as the prayer was going on i told god remember the promise thou had but none i can stand. bend I can check yourself bend down any pain come on there boy are you celebrating the god of miracles my dear place your hand on your stomach according to the time of life i prophesy to you go and return with your child there is no power in existence that will stop this prophecy in the name of jesus christ congratulations god bless you yes, you please. mentioned someone pile 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 yes how long my friend is this more than a year, sir. it's been more than a year and what happened to you now sir i'm here by faith that i know that i'm healed oh <laughs> can you imagine because i can't actually test it now so i'm here by faith okay lay your hands on your lay your hands on your chest in the name of jesus christ while you are a spirit you have a name and in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare leave this gentleman now go now and go forever in jesus name god bless you yes please been having prolonged menstrual period See, prolonged menstrual period yes. how long Till fourth. From, from fourth of this month till today. Uh, it was just it's women that will understand how evil this kind of thing is. And it's been making me very weak. Even I came with a drip. It makes you very weak. Very weak. I came with a drip. Is this mic working? Outside. She came on drip. Came oh, you came with a drip yes. to this crusade ground. Yes. My God, where is it? The drip is outside. And my spirit was telling me to take it. I said, no, I don't. Run. Any weakness in your body now? Jesus Jesus Hello Madonna Hello Madonna My dear look at me Stand up In the name of Jesus whatever is responsible for this prolonged period that is leading to weakness in your body we curse it now by the god of heaven amen in the name of jesus we may not my god there are so many testimonies we may just take maybe two two or three three more and then we'll have to stop so that we can walk with time are we all right but you just wait i have to pray for everybody so let's take a few two or three very notable ones yes sir apostle you mentioned someone with eyesight problems eyesight yes she's here testifying that god has healed her my god 
What's your name, my dear? Tochuku. Tochuku. Yes, sir. How long? Since 2012, I wear glasses. But when I was coming for this program, I, I didn't carry my glasses because they got broken on Thursday. Okay. So when you said we should check ourselves, I opened my eyes and I used to look at the, the people upstairs and it, the vision was blurry. You couldn't see those upstairs. It was blurry, but looking at them now, they are so You are seeing them clearly. Very, oh, come on. Very, very oh, come on. Water you turn into wine You open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you None like you That's what Jesus is doing in a boy's state It's into the darkness you cry Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you in the name of jesus may this miracle remain permanent for the rest of your life yes sir very quickly sir okay. she had hemorrhoids since 2018 and she, had she had what hemorrhoids okay okay and she had been even oh my god up, but now she's okay my Hear dear sound. look at me in the name of jesus christ i speak to you not only hemorrhoid but i rebuke depression by the power of the holy spirit it will never be part of your life and i declare healing let it be permanent in your life in jesus name i pray amen let's have one more from here and this lady hotness of the body why you mentioned it for four years her whole body has always been hot but now each time it comes it dries me and look as if i'm not feeding when it comes it dries her up as if she have not been feeding but now she is okay in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, this healing, this miracle remains permanent for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, sir. This lady came in here with severe neck and shoulder pain. Neck and shoulder pain. Yes, but why you mention her case? My God. She got delivered. Yourself, check your neck, shoulder, any pain, completely gone. In Jesus' name it remains so. Amen. Permanent Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. And we have two or three more very quickly and then we're done. His father went to the village. His father could not walk. His father could not walk? Yes. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. On Saturday evening, he, yes. he was, since Saturday, he has not been able to walk. But while you are praying here, they called him to say that the father, all of a sudden... From the village! <laughs> My God. What village is that? What's the name of the village? Oincha local government. Huh? Oincha local government. Oincha local oh, government. No matter how far what you are looking for is, if the power of God can leave a boy and go to Onicha, then I declare, may favor live where it is and come to you. May lift him, live where it is and come to you. May destiny help us live where they are and come to you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. That healing and that miracle remains permanent. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Yes, please, very quickly. Yes. He has been having his visions are blocked since two since he was in now, SS2. Are you noticing that you see when you see the frequency of a miracle, there is a message in it? Are you seeing that the miracle of clarity of visions there is a prophetic message in it this is how you discern miracles it's not just god is speaking to the body that he's opening you up to a clearer dimension of spiritual illumination this is how you profit from miracles more than the personalities that receive their miracles there is always prophecy attached to it if you don't discern the prophetic message you wasted the testimony yes please so right now he can see completely yes in the name of jesus christ it remains permanent by the power of the holy spirit amen and amen yes please 
this young man entered there with heart palpitation heart palpitation yes my god but while you prayed the lord set, set him free. completely completely my brother i pray for you this remains permanent in the name of jesus let this be the last yes please sir for the past two years she couldn't hear from her ears it's like which of them she says two of them as if there's darkness i don't understand okay this. but now she can hear what happened to you sir i was sick then so it develops this you know time, in honestly in this in this small work i've had with god i've seen all kinds of situations one time i was in a crusade in shiroro it was a pfn crusade and that was the first time i saw such a dramatic manifestation of evil there was a line of at least i hope i'm not exaggerating 12 or 13 women every time they give birth in that region they become deaf and dumb immediately like a child comes out immediately you can't hear you can't talk i prayed for a few people and i noticed it was a trend the pastors were trying to push their members and i said no this one is not a healing situation now whenever you see a widespread occurrence of a deficiency there are spirits controlling powers that are making this happen put your hands both of them in the name of jesus who is the christ of god i speak to those ears even as they are open now they remain opened in the name of jesus christ they remain opened in jesus name now for all who have received a miracle i sincerely apologize because of time i know you would want to testify but whether you are in here or outside many following online in the name of jesus christ these miracles that you have received i declare by the power of the holy spirit they remain permanent in jesus name they remain permanent in jesus name they remain permanent in jesus name hallelujah very quickly please let's rise everyone let's rise bring the prayer request now unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 please give it to us media we're about to pray please turn it Shela baru se siya na haskala baru ziya tebash. Please make sure you are very spiritual inside and outside. Let your gaze be on Jesus as we pray. Philippians chapter four. Media, are we still together? Philippians four and verse six. Let me just quote it for time's sake. The Bible says, "Be anxious for nothing." Many versions say be careful. The word care there does not mean responsibility. It means anxiety. Be anxious for nothing, the Bible says. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, it says let your request be made known. Don't assume God knows it. Let your request be made known. Let your request be made known. Let your challenges be made known let your desires be made known mark chapter 11 when you read from verse 24 it says verily verily i say unto you what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it we receive in prayer then we have it as a manifestation you cannot have what you have not received you must receive then you have hallelujah now very quickly for the sake of time i believe that god answers prayers number one from the authority of scripture i believe god answers prayers because we have patriarchs that have gone ahead of us and their lives have proven that God is a prayer answering God but I believe God answers prayers because I have a covenant of answered prayers with God the Lord granted me the privilege and the grace not very long ago 
to be alone lying down and crying in the prayer room of daddy Jew. our father papa adeboe and when i lay down there there was only one prayer i said lord the covenant of answered prayer that you have with this man for the sake of the generation i am sent to may that same grace and may that same mantle come upon my life that was my prayer not just for myself so that we can have real results in the body we can have genuine testimonies my altar calling you oh god my sacrifice is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god take my praise oh god Even when we prophesy we see in part and so we prophesy in part even when we teach we only teach according to the measure of the grace that is given to us your prayer request here is the most accurate expression of your needs and desires and as I bow my knees like Paul would do over the church of Ephesus I just want you to stretch your hands here and let's agree as a family of faith the body of Christ in a boy the body of Christ in the east of the Niger lord arise in power visit this request you don't have to kneel i will do the kneeling but you just stretch your hands and let's pray go ahead make sure your prayer request is here Jesus Christ father every request here standing in faith with all the fathers of faith in a boy state standing in faith with all the veterans of the gospel here at the east of the Niger we stand as a united body and we turn every request here to a testimony Every request be turned to testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Every emergency situation here receive help from the throne. Every human agent that must be used to make this prayer request be turned into testimonies. We command them to appear now in the name of Jesus. Hey. hear me anyone who says over his dead body for these prayers to be answered may the earth open and swallow them yeah. 
In the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen to me. Part of the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic and by extension the fivefold ministry is to help the body of Christ attain the unity of the faith. Please listen to me. Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, east of the Niger. Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, Ebony State. The days of fighting one another, the days of backbiting, the days of competitive jealousy, the, great, the days of discussing men before mentees to spite them. Let's roll those days and let them go forever because it's a new season. Now, listen to me. In truth, we are not all the same, we are equal in Christ. But our levels of spiritual sacrifices, our levels of spiritual enlightenment, alongside the kinds and the dimension of grace that is at work in us, has separated us into cadres of possibilities. That is true. However, in the midst of all the differences, there is a dimension of the revelation of Jesus that cannot be revealed with one man. No matter how accurate you are, it will take the corporate body standing yes i know that there are people here who have character challenges there are people here who are still in the school of the spirit going through the refiner's fire to prune them but listen to me younger ministers show profound unashamed honor to the fathers of faith within your city and within the region do not be part of the ignorance and the childishness sweeping the body of christ where you tear down men of god do not be the ones to injure wounded soldiers when our soldiers fall we must stand by them with honor we must stand by them with joy we do not only rise together we fall together that is the spirit of unity don't go around gossiping and speaking about another man of god don't use your pulpit as a platform to tear down people if god has shown you a measure of light let the body benefit from it whoever criticizes you no problem leave them with prayer in hope that god will open their eyes tomorrow let us help one another and stand as a united force it is true that together we stand it is also true that divided we fall let the younger generations that are coming not mentor rubbish from us let us be careful what we are teaching these people as they come do not teach them that this honor is profitable. Do not teach them that indiscipline is profitable. There are protocols and patterns in this kingdom. We must pres preserve the ancient landmark. Let's be honest to tell them how the power came upon us. Don't over pamper them to the point where they become powerless. Let them fast. Let them pray. It does not kill. Younger ministers, don't admire a man of God's current result alone. Find out the process and go through that. Don't sit down, lying down on cars, claiming them. No, faith is not foolishness. Trust God for grace. Grow with dignity. Grow with diligence. Those of you who serve in ministries, don't cause pain to men of God. Serve with all your heart. The leaders may not be perfect people. But can you endure for the sake of what is before you? Don't serve a man and laugh and say, yes, sir, in the open. And behind you are saying, God forbid. If your pastor is not working in the way that you think should be, your first assignment is to protect him in the place of prayer. Lord, open his eyes that he will see. These are instructions that help the body within a territory to stand strong. Are we together? fathers in as much as god has helped us to be great men let us not spite the younger ones because sometimes in a bid to show all their immaturity and spiritual tantrums a father is one who is prepared to receive a lot of nonsense from children that's what makes you a father they 
they will disobey they will rebel they will be childish they will discover their mistakes tomorrow they will come back again that's what makes you abba the maturity to be able to endure all those blows and still have love we must create a platform for people to also rise we are not the only ones that god called there are still many others coming and hear me to those who are about to start ministry many of you are still in the cave of adula stay there with honor don't allow anybody graduate you from the school of the spirit prematurely just because they call you to lead a prayer just because you were invited to sing in a crusade when you are done rush back to that cave and remain there and john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing are we blessed the body of Christ in a boiling state must begin to grow and contend for light. Prayer ministries don't fight ministries with excellence and administration. Ministries with excellence and administration don't fight teaching ministries. Power ministries don't fight ministries that are called to do certain things that you feel are of lesser value. Everybody in the body of Christ is important. Because of the charismatic manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit, we may seem to esteem others more than others. But it is only from the lens of God's heart we really know those who are great in this kingdom. It is not really the Joshua Selmans. It is the silent intercessors that we don't see them on TV. They are the ones that carry greater weight in the Spirit. We must be matured enough and unashamed enough to not only know this, but let the body of Christ know this. That we who stand and seem to pioneer dimensions, are only products of the mercy and the grace of God we must be unashamed about advocating that mercy let the younger ones learn well let's not be afraid to rebuke and correct them don't feel insecure they deserve the discipline that makes for mighty men are we together at this juncture let me invite the fathers two or three as a representation of the church in the east we are going to stand here I've been the fathers are going to declare and call upon the God of heaven that there will be blessings upon the land that there will be increase we pray during the minister's session are we together now please while we do that receive with all your heart even if the father happens to be your brother forget the issue of relationship now and focus Elijah said if you see me as I'm taking up hallelujah please let's welcome the fathers that should be here let's honor them and and the mic quickly please praise the name of the lord now bless you let's honor him the chairman of pfn here thank you thank you sir praise the lord now watch this listen please everyone we are going to give them the mic and they are going to pray now there are other men of god i hope you know that this may not just be there are other fathers there are other veterans some are not even seated at the minister's seat some are outside we honor you for what you stand this is just a representation it is not to ignore your grace we are not foolish we know there are prophets there are apostles there are veterans of power seated and scattered here bringing people out is by no means demeaning you it's just for the sake of time and because of the prophetic act that we have to do however please for the first time if need be let's hide our differences and receive as one body keep the differences revelation here you believe this you don't believe this jesus wants to move again in the east of the niger he wants to move again in a boy state let's give him room to find expression yes sir Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for visiting us at such a time as this. Father, we pray that every prophecy you have released concerning the kingdom work in the east, that we will see them come to pass in our lives. The eastern gate is open for this movement, for the prophetic move for the apostolic move amen for great impact amen the eastern gate is open to the miraculous 
to signs and wonders from today signs and wonders will accompany our ministry in the name of Jesus Father, we want to thank you because according to your design and purpose in this period, this season you have looked upon Nigeria and upon Southeast and you put your focus on Ebony to steer up a revival that will steer the East steer Nigeria and steer Africa and move the whole world to a new dimension let that work begin now Amen in the name of Jesus let the grave open and let the resurrection power move mightily push young men push young women move them into their destiny let our eyes be open in the mighty name of Jesus Amen in the name of Jesus most high God we have been crying for revival we have called upon you in this land that the time for visitation must come many of your true servants have labored with no proof or result many of your true servants are discouraged and you promised me lord that the ark will come into the house of obed edom when i heard your servant apostle is coming into this town you told me the ark has come that this city and this state will never be the same again Father, every prophetic utterance that has been released through his own mouth concerning this land, we join our faith with his to declare it is done in the name of Jesus. Ebony State will never be the same again. The fire of revival has already been ignited in you. This fire shall burn and proceed beyond the states in the name of Jesus. You told me that out of this conference, arrows will be shot in different dimensions, not just within the church, but into other sphere of life. That the out of this conference. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years to come, people shall say, it was in this place that Jehovah they were shot like arrows. I therefore stand as their son, as their servant, to declare that a new dawn has begun in this land. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen eyes have not seen ears have not heard he has not entered into the mind of anyone what you have already done in our midst that we shall live to see all these things come to pass in jesus supernatural name we have prayed amen i stand the efficacy of the prayers pray on this platform from us on the platform and from you all on this side I stand on the scripture the word of God Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 Hear the word, Eboy. Hear the word, shout east. Because you've been obedient to the word of my patience.
patience because you have followed my word because you heeded my word I will keep you so says the scripture I will keep you I will keep you in every hour of temptation Lord fight our battles Lord disgrace whatever that tries to disgrace us Oh Lord may doors of ministry open to us in this land of faith extending to the rest of the states in the name of Jesus by the word of God we declare surplus in our land all those that imagine that we will cry they will be disappointed good is coming to you promotion is coming to you the reign of miracle is yours people of, people of God from all over southeast raise your voices and shout the loudest amen of tonight amen 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 let's honor our fathers thank you sirs thank you let's honor them as they quickly go back hallelujah praise the name of the lord please you can come just pack this now i just want to pray just a few minutes and we're done one of the things that must happen in every meeting is that there must be men and women that god will raise God will empower we had an anointing session in the morning for the pastors but it's important that when we come to a land like this haven't spoken there must be a deposit of divine grace that will enable the body of Christ to make progress this is why God anointed us and our fathers have spoken i hope you know that this meeting is not just for a boy state this is one of the prophetic pointers towards the southeast god is speaking to the southeast this will not be the only meeting there will be many more stationed across several regions of the southeast and god will be speaking to the southeast Show us the ancient path Will you lead us along Eternal highway We want to follow the ways of Jesus We want to enter your realm Will you show us the ancient path Will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the footsteps of jesus you don't have to bring anybody out as i pray our fathers can please remain seated they've been standing for a long time let's honor them but in the name of jesus a grace for prayer There are dimensions of prayer that you must trust God to step into if you really want to do much with God in this season. I stretch my hands by the privilege of the election of grace. That altar of prayer, may that grace come upon you now. Shout Amen. May that grace come upon you now. May that grace come upon you now. The grace to fast. The grace to pray. Take that grace in the name of Jesus.
Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 3 Apostle Paul was mentoring the church in Ephesus and he said how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery listen to me there are certain dimensions of revelations you don't study it's a body of truth you are initiated into by the spirit no matter how studious you are there are things you cannot see until you are shown in the name of jesus the grace for revelation access to life take that grace now access to light in the name of jesus christ just help them there are prophets that must arise in this city i don't know where they are but i stretch my hands as the sword of the spirit inside this auditorium and outside help them everybody called into this grace hear that clarion call arise by the power of the holy ghost my head thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn i am anointed with fresh oil men and women the eyes that see and the ears that hear shalakata bakata the eyes that see the ears that hear the lord is showing me an eagle moving across this auditorium my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn i am anointed with fresh oil every altar ministerial altar in a boy state that has gone cold because of discouragement has gone cold because of weariness we set every altar on fire again amen there are those of you who are called into the evangelistic but because of fear will god confirm my words with signs following i declare carry the grace for evangelistic fire amen There are women that will arise in this city in the order of Deborah. There are women like Anna the prophetess. There are Esthers. I stretch my hands. Every woman that has a prophetic assignment in this end time agenda, whether you are inside or outside, the grace for God's prophetic assignment on you. Take that grace in Jesus' name. There are kingdom financiers that must arise in this season. Men and women that will be trusted with the wealth of the kingdom for the sake of kingdom come. I don't know where you are. You may be a businessman. You may be a politician. But I stand before the God of my covenant. May the grace that lifts men financially for the sake of the kingdom, may that grace rest upon you now. If there is any pastor here who is under attack demonic attack to kill your ministry to make you a reproach in the land we call upon the God of mercy as the body of Christ may mercy speak towards your life Amen. I pray for every church every prayer group no matter how big no matter how small every prophetic and apostolic platform every arm of spiritual expression as far as it supports kingdom come let fresh fire rest on those altars Amen. hear me the controlling powers over the spiritual territory of a boy i come by the road of the apostolic and the prophetic 
I speak to gates and altars. Lift up your heads, all ye gates. Be lifted up, all ye ancient doors. The doors that seem to close for the gospel. The doors that seem to close for the advancement of the kingdom. We scatter those gates now. We pray for the government of this city. May God provide wisdom. Amen. May God provide wisdom. Amen. Members in the House of Parliament, politicians, those who represent the people, the grace to walk with integrity. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for every family represented here by the power of the Holy Ghost shame and reproach no matter how long it has been may it be far from you in Jesus name Amen every family here that is still into idol worship that is still into idolatry may God open their eyes to see Jesus Amen. encounters visionary encounters Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. the sound of war may it not be heard within the borders of your city Amen. the sound of bloodshed may it not be heard within the borders of your city Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen hear me anyone and any family here appointed to death that there are yokes and patterns of death every year someone must die every two two years someone must die i stand in partnership with the veterans of the gospel here we declare an end comes to the reign of evil Amen. regardless the man of God regardless the church father everyone who names your name in this city use them mightily Amen. everyone who names your name in the east of the Niger use them mightily Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ and Lord we pray May a boy never lack men and women who are rising and on fire for Jesus. Amen. Let me pray for those of you who are still in the cave of Adullam. Do not be discouraged. May the good hand of God continue the training for you. Amen. Grace and discipline to stay while being trained. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The mistakes the fathers have made you will not make. Amen. The mistakes we have made you will not make Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. finally we pray let there be such a wind of revival listen from the length the breadth the east the south the north of a boy state once again May the fire that some of you have not even seen in a long time, may that fire return again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And let me please pray. There are men of God here who travel from everywhere. Oka, Onicha, Enugu. Men of God who are not domiciled within the land, but they have come to stand in partnership. This is the clearest expression of the unity of the faith. In the name of Jesus, the same fire, the same grace, the same support. Amen. Let it follow you back to your station. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. And like our fathers have declared, like they have prayed, may nothing disunite the body of Christ in this city. Amen. the grace to look beyond your weaknesses for the sake of his majesty 
and only focus on Jesus may that grace be released on you amen let's pray for the students there are students here the grace to not join cult groups useless vices that destroy the lives of great people we we put a seal on you and we separate you from it amen every student here the grace to finish strong amen all the institutions of learning around those who are in final year we release grace the finishers anointing finish well in the name of jesus christ father everything you desire to do in a boy state and everything you desire to do all across the east we stand in partnership as we wrap up this conference in partnership with all the vessels here present and connected by faith and we declare maranatha come in the name of jesus Amen. 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 To your will and your ways. Amen. 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 For the outpouring of the Spirit, one last time. Amen. 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 I forgot to pray this one prayer. The grace for miracles, signs, and wonders. There must be someone in this place who came for that grace. I stretch my hands from the depth of my spirit as many as desire this grace inside outside i pray for you carry that grace right now carry it to the crusade grounds carry it to your churches carry it to your groups carry it to your homes signs and wonders and miracles in the name of jesus christ one more time a boy he said I love you from the depth of my heart. The fathers and the veterans of faith in a boy state, east of the Niger, thank you for your warm reception. The Lord increase you. May you go from glory even to glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye